Am I too close? Hello. How are you? Okay, let me back it up. Back, 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 back it up. Hey guys, it's our new kitchen with Kitchen Tumblers, and today we are going to do something totally different. We are going to do a tumbler, but instead of using glitter, we're going to use heat transfer vinyl that is glittered. So there will be no fine glitter in this process, just heat transfer vinyl glitter. And we're going to be making an American flag tumbler to celebrate Memorial Day. I just want to take a minute to thank all of our vets for everything that they've done for us. And of course, my husband is going to call because anytime I hit record, someone calls. Hold on just a second. Okay, I'm back. So, let me show you the supplies that you're going to need. So I'm going to take this off the tripod. Okay, all right, so we're going to need your 22 ounce fatty by Hog. I'm going to use Amazing Clear Cast uh, Epoxy Resin by Illuminite. You're going to need some type of heat gun. Um, this is an embossing gun from Michaels, or you can use a regular heat gun. You're going to need your vinyl, your heat transfer vinyl in the colors red, white, and blue. You're going to need your cutting device. I have a Cricut Maker. It could be the Cricut 2, um, Explore Air 2. It could be your Silhouette. It doesn't matter. Whatever cutting tool you use. And of course, your cutting mat. And I didn't video it, but you're going to need your you know, um, weeding tools. All right. So first things first. Oh, also you're going to need this opaque pigment, um, to put into your epoxy resin. Now, this is what I did. I got my 22 ounce fatty and I did this already and I went ahead and spray painted it white and then I mixed up 20, um, mls of the epoxy resin and I put about two drops of this in here into the epoxy resin, stirred it up until it was really white, and then I put it on the tumbler. So now my tumbler has one coat of epoxy with the white epoxy dye mixed in to give it a nice smooth finish. I didn't know if I could put heat transfer vinyl on top of paint, so I went ahead and put epoxy on the tumbler. Now, when you're using epoxy and you're heating epoxy, you want to make sure you're safe. So you want to make sure you also have your mask. And let me go grab that real quick. This is the mask that I use. It's by 3M and I will link it below and I got it from Amazon. And actually I bought this at Ace Hardware, but I know it's at Amazon because I buy my refills um, for the filters from Amazon. So make sure that whenever you're epoxying that you are wearing a rebreathing mask to help you and also make sure you're wearing nitro gloves. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. There's gonna be some voiceovers um, in this video as well. Okay, one thing I forgot to mention for you Cricut users is that I will be sharing the link to my Cricut file for this tumbler for the 22 ounce fatty. So you'll be able to click the link and go directly to my Cricut um, design space and use the file and create your own. So that's my little freebie for you. Just to say thank you for watching and please like, subscribe and share my videos. I would love to grow this channel. That would be like the best thing ever. Thank you. Okay, so I'm using the Cricut app on my iPad and I'm gonna go ahead and go to Design Space and click on my projects. And like I said before, the link is below, so you should be able to go directly to my de design space and use this template. Alright, so before sending your items to the mat, make sure that you hide my logo and my um, social media information so that it does not print when you go and send everything to the mat. And because we are using heat transfer vinyl, you want to make sure that you mirror all three of your mats. Um, sometimes I forget to mirror the second and third mat, so make sure you're doing all three.
All right, we are ready to cut. And so you're gonna get your vinyl and make sure with your heat transfer vinyl, your glitter heat transfer vinyl or any heat transfer vinyl for that matter, you're going to stick to your matte shiny side down, okay? So you see how this is all shiny and glossy and this is not, it's matte. This is what you want facing up. This is what you want sticking to the mat. All right, and so now it's blinking to let me know that I need to go ahead and load my mat. And now the seat is going to flick, letting me know it's ready to cut. trimmed all my vinyl down to just the pieces that I cut with the Cricut and now it's time to weed so I'm first starting with the blue which all I need to do is remove all of the stars because the backing of the blue is what I need and the stars I'll just put to the side and use for some other project For the white, I'm going to go ahead and turn on my bright pad because it's sometimes hard to see with glitter vinyl. And for that, for the stars, I'm just going to peel all the backing off and leave the actual white stars um, to be transferred over. And now I'm just going to remove the um, bars for the white part of the flag and the red part of the flag. Real simple and easy. Thermal tape is totally optional. You can use it, but you really don't need it. So starting with the white bars, go ahead and attach it to the tumbler and make sure you line it up even with the top and bottom of the 22 ounce fatty. Making sure that everything is straight and aligned. And this is where I use the thermal tape to hold it down and honestly with the thermal tape I will say if I did it again I would just attach it to the left side and not both sides because that created some creasing um, and so I had to kind of stop and pull it apart and put it back so really really just if you're going to use the thermal tape only use it on the left side and then kind of work your way um, with the heat gun like you would your fingers if you were just using regular vinyl. So you'll see in just a second what I'm talking about. You want to also make sure that you are wearing your mask while you're doing this process because um, as you are using the heat gun on the epoxy, it is going to emit an odor. And so I'm assuming that if it's emitting an odor that it's probably emitting chemicals as well. So go ahead and make sure that you're in a well ventilated area and that you are wearing your rebreathing mask while you are doing this step. And so with the um, heat transfer vinyl, you just want to make sure that it is sticking to the tumbler like you would if you're, you know, using HTV on a shirt. Um, and you're going to have to play with it a little bit. Um, I actually touched the heat gun directly onto the tumbler as I was using it. Um, and so it's a lot of trial and error, just making sure that everything sticks. But here you see the creasing that I was talking about earlier. And so what I had to do was literally pick it up um, and readjust it, which a good thing about heat transfer vinyl um, is that it is forgivable so you are able to pick it up and kind of reposition it and put it back on again
to the blue backing or our stars and you want to just make sure that your your lines are right next to the white bars and if you look at the file you'll see that the white bar does have a um, very thin strip to the left of the bars and a thin strip to the very bottom of the bar and that's just kind of helping you line everything up and so I um, you can either overlap it or just sit it right next to the thin white line and once you cut it out you'll see exactly what I'm talking about it's kind of hard to see here hopefully you can see it but um, basically you just want to press it up against the left side and um, go from there Now we're going to do the same concept with the red bars and we're just going to place them in between the white bars. Same concept, we're just going to press the HTV on there and um, use the heat gun by tapping it um, on there and it takes a couple of goes to get it on there um, but it will stick.
So for the stars, I first tried to put the stars on top and use the heat transfer gun using the whole sheet like I was doing before and that did not work. So what I ended up doing was individually taking each star off and placing it one by one. And there are two ways to do this. You can either do this with the heat transfer gun or you can do it with a regular iron. Um, just making sure that it's your craft iron and not the iron that you're going to be using every day for clothes. Um, but I'm using my craft iron that I use to sometimes just press little tiny intricate pieces on items. I'll use a regular iron. Um, and they also have like this small triangle handheld iron. I don't have one of those, but my regular iron works fine. But you'll see. I'll speed up the process. But here you see me putting the stars on individually with the heat gun. And then a little bit later you'll see me actually just using a regular iron to put the stars on. So because I was putting on the stars individually, I want to make sure that I got every single star on there, all 50 of them. So I'm just picking up my tumbler, looking around, seeing that I missed a star here or there, and just making sure that I replace the stars. So you'll see here in the top of the tumbler there's some overlap with the heat transfer vinyl. So I'm going to go ahead and trim that with my um, Cricut knife. And basically when you're trimming it, you want to poke a hole in the center first and then kind of trim downward. You don't want to just slide it across like you would when you're cleaning epoxy off of the top of your tumbler, but you want to be slicing in a downward position so that you don't scratch up the, um, the red line in your flag. I'm going to go ahead, after I cut all of this off, I'm going to seal it with Krylon Triple Thick sealer just to make sure that the glitter doesn't run into each other. Alright, so 
So I've got my epoxy mixing and I used 40 ml total of chromarine epoxy. And now I'm just going to go ahead and place my first coat of epoxy and let it spin for about 4 hours. After which I will apply a second flood coat of epoxy and let it spin for a minimum of 8 hours. And I won't touch it again um, for at least 12 hours, but in this case, overnight. 